Why do we pray? Besides the fact that we were told to pray in our youth. And what is prayer after all? Uh, is it some sort of begging? Is it a form of transaction with God? I will give you this if you gave me that in exchange. And what happened when our prayer are not answered? When we don't have what we ask for? It's one thing not to have the winning numbers of the next draw of Lotto Max. It is something else when we pray for our father who has cancer, we pray that children won't die from starvation, we pray that war would stop, and it does not happen. Our prayers are not answered. What does it mean? As our prayer prayers not heard by God? Were we faithful enough? Have we asked enough? Did we pray the wrong way? Does, does God care? Well, at the beginning of chapter 11 in the Gospel according to Luke, um, one of the disciples uh, asked Jesus, to teach them how to pray. Um, and when we think about it for two seconds, the, the disciple probably knew how to pray. They were good Jewish men that went to religious office on a regular basis, so they knew some prayers. But there was something else. They saw in Jesus something different. This relationship with God and and the and all the ministry he was doing and they came to they came to say to themselves that's what I want that's what I want that's what why I'm following that man I want this basically they want to emulate Jesus his words his ministry his action to be and to do like like he did. When Jesus speak and Jesus spoke about forgiveness, about reconciliation. And one way to start is through prayers. You see, if you you can, you can pray for your friends, your family, but if you pray for your enemy, like really mean it. Well, somehow those enemies are not anymore those evil faceless entity and there may be a little less your enemies because you care enough to pray for them and this is what is special about prayer it's it has the capacity to transform us it makes us more compassionate more loving forgiving, generous, and all of these were at the core of Jesus' message. So why do we pray? We pray to become better human being. We pray to get closer to the ideal Jesus came to preach on this earth. We pray to remind us that a better world is possible, and it starts very simply by this conversation we have with God and praying as simple as thank you God. Once again, thank you very much for watching, for being there. And until next time, I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.